I'm sure there's coyotes in here. Yep, there's a coyote over there. Let's go kill it first. There we go. Uh, chest. That's what I'm looking for. We got a better bow. What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining us again for another episode of Pixar. And I have been doing some exploring. So, we got our copper armor and we got our copper uh, sword and whatnot. And as you can see, I've been flying around the map trying to locate all the different biomes. Um, I did find Doom Lands on my map. It's actually in the eastern side of the map. So if you look at right at 0 0.5 and 1.5 on my map, that little area right there is Doom Lands. And there's some bad stuff there. Um, I flew up north. And then I was trying to fly through the center here. And when I did that... I came across this grasslands area and not only did I come across the grasslands area there's all these little huts out here so I went into the first one I'm gonna show you what I did um, it doesn't look like there's anything too overly dangerous out here there was some coyotes in here that I killed and then there's all this stuff like this see chest barrel um well, I don't think I can pick that let's see can I pick it on my hands yeah it's just berries okay but anyway when you go in your inventory all that stuff I just destroyed is decorations so sun dries bag sun dries bag bottles barrels uh fossil chests it's all decorations so it's kind of cool and then they had some cool stuff in here uh we're gonna pick it up Oh, look, there's a coyote. Die. So I found a chest in here, which gave me a, another copper uh, hatchet. Or copper axe. Ooh, and this one's an apprentice. And that's an apprentice. So let's go ahead and equip that. So these are upgrades on our primitive ones. I found some apprentice leather. Pants. I found some sleepy arrows, which... uh. I didn't bring any arrows with me. <laughs> but these houses are kind of cool. Now, when I was destroying, yeah, see, there's a chest here. Destroying those decorations, I was able to find chests, and I've got more copper ingots and more sleep arrows. Um, can I? Can't access it, can't destroy it. Nope. Alright, so we can go up and keep exploring this. And these are kind of cool. Um, definitely reminds me of Minecraft and that you're exploring caves and want another chest. Stone arrows, primitive ichthy saddle. Okay, we got a candle. I'll take all that. Well, this is the Minecraft element, I guess, of it. We've been doing a lot of building, and I am fat. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize I was that fat. We've been doing a lot of building and art key kind of stuff with taming and whatnot, but uh, this is more of the Minecraft element. Let's see. How much does this stuff weigh? Oh, that's 76 pounds. So, let's keep a couple of these. We don't need all of this. Alright. Uh, can we keep like maybe five? Man, five is still 20 pounds. Let's drop that. We can uh, drop this. Let's pull this back out off of a hot bar. Maybe we'll keep like four of them. Or drop them. There we go. Um, that's a lot of weight. Man, I don't need all that stuff. Let's just drop it. We're going to explore some more of these, so we're going to come across them, I guess. We're just going to pull this too, drop that, figure all this out. Candles we can keep, because that's something we can use. Um, and let's go ahead and drop that too. Get that out of the way. Can I put that on a hot bar? What about this? There. There. That way, if we pick up any more, it'll uh, 
won't go in my hot bar. And then I wanted to mine some of this stuff here because it was cool, but I need a steel pickaxe to do it. And, uh, yeah, you see, my copper pickaxe just won't do it, unfortunately. Is there anything else in here? It's not too elaborate, but got some cool loots. So let's go ahead and go check out another one. Ah, I'm stuck. Can we? Can I? Can, can we? Glitch. We're glitched. Okay. Can you follow me? And get out. No? What about this? No? Okay. So we, we're glitched. <laughs> Alright. We're, we're walking now. No, stop. Oh, wait. He was on the ground. No. Let's see. There's this thing called convert the pix arc. And uh, when you do that, it makes up a block. I haven't played around with it. Let's see. You. Haha, -ha, he's back. But it takes everything that they had on them and uh, puts it on the on the ground. So there we go, like that. Um, give you some meat. We don't need that. But that's kind of cool. You can pick them up, almost like a pokeball, and uh, carry them that way. Now there's a mod in Art called a Dino Pickup Mod, which functions similar similar to that. You can pick them up. However, you keep their inventory with that mod. Um, let's go up in here. Let's see what we can find. Uh, oh, let me go first person. There we go. I'm sure there's coyotes in here. Yep, there's a coyote over there. Let's go kill it first. There we go. Uh, chest. That's what I'm looking for. We got a better bow. Nice. Let's put that on our hot bar. That way, in case we die. <laughs> So we got a better bow, nothing else, nope, nothing else. And we'll drop the stuff we don't want here in a minute. There we go, another coyote. Also, I'm level 34 now, oh, 35 with that. So there's a lot of mining I want to get done, but I was waiting until I got to 34, normal level to close. Ooh. All right, there's certain things out here in the world that you can't, are certain ingers you can't learn unless you learn them through the blueprint. So the architect master, architecture master stuff here. This is all stuff learned through blueprints, and I really wanted these things here to try them out, but I had to find a blueprint, right? So this looks like that's one of them. So let's go ahead and you just use it, and now I can make it. So this is a firefly pillar lamp. A beautiful pillar lamp lit by a firefly can we have already had that thing down to craft it so I believe I haven't done it so I don't know for sure but I believe you uh, you put a firefly in there and it lights stuff up so that's gonna be interesting to try out this pike is amazing uh, that I found this iron pike uh, gloves gloves I really don't need this type of stuff here because my current stuff I think is better we'll, we'll grab it just in case but um gloves gloves yeah I'm at two armor the only good thing is that it it offers some better insulation which we may want up using if we need to alright I think that's all the chests in here so since that's all the chests in here We'll drop. No, wait, I don't want to use. Drop item. Drop item. Does it work in here for drop? Yes, it does. Alright, good. Uh, how's our weight? We're at 80, so we're good on weight. I really was just exploring because I wanted to check out all the different biomes. I wanted to see 
um, what all I could find. Wasn't intending on raiding any areas. But there's a bunch of these houses, these uh, structures out here. They're not even houses, they're like ruins. I'm gonna go ahead and pump a stat. Uh, what do we want to pump? Let's go, or do health. Give us a little bit more of a chance to survive. Alright. Um, coyote. Alright. Take it out. Ow. Alright, not bad. Ooh. Now, this is something I learned to make, but I haven't made it yet. So this can restore a small amount of HP over time. Alright. There we go. Box. Bamboo wall. Nice. Sleepy arrow, copper. I really wanted to find the bamboo area, but I have yet to find that. Um, let's use that. There's an area where there's a bunch of bamboo I've seen and uh, on other people's maps, and I wanted to try to find that area on mine. Glass, copper ingots, take off. I want to find that area on my map, but I have yet to find it. So that's what I'm really searching for. Oh my goodness. Magic sleepy arrow, stone arrow, sleepy arrow, primitive lightning protection, all kinds of loots. Alright. We're doing good on weight. Let's go up top. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and explore all these ruins and loot everything that I can find. And then... Uh, I can come back and show you what I found. <laughs> Another bow. What's this one? 135? 139? Okay. Then I can come back and show you what I found. So let me do that, and then I'll be obese. Alright, we made it back to the base. So, there were 10 buildings total for us to loot. And, uh, that's what we want to loot in. 10 total uh, buildings. And each one had at least three chests in it. I think it was three chests. Not counting what dropped off of mobs from killing those. And basically this was our spoils of war. Or our looting whatnot. So we got these two right here. A Prentice Copper Axe and a Prentice Copper Pickaxe. We also got an Apprentice Copper Pickaxe. A journeyman bow that's 162 we got this bow apprentice bow 139 all these stone arrows all these sleepy arrows so that's 81 sleepy arrows 13 magic sleepy arrows we have another primitive copper sword which has a little bit more damage um, apprentice leather journeyman leather apprentice leather Apprentice leather pants, a uh, normal copper helmet with a 3.1 armor rating on it. These here apparently are hats that, if it's storming, you can wear it and it protects you from lightning damage, but they do have a durability. Um, we got a few of those, actually, like four. Um, fur from killing everything. We did have to make a couple of uh, campfires out there because it did turn snowy. And we we're freezing. We got all these copper ingots here, so that's 26. We've got all this glass here. Well, there's 26 here, and there's 25 copper ingots here, so that's 51 total copper ingots. Yes. Uh, glass. <laughs> we got a bunch of that as well. So that's 26, 47. Oh, wait, no, that's not glass. Glass here. And here 29 glass we got snow 18 snow then we got a bunch of saddles we got a little bit of gunpowder this is more armor and stuff that we got out there um, yeah more armor now the saddles we've got a normal ichthy saddle armor of a 5.4 5.7 ichthy saddle, 7.8 ichthy, sa ichthy saddle, 
I got an Angler Saddle, 5.8 armor rating. We've got a Terraman, uh, Pterodon, Journeyman, Journeyman Pterodon Saddle, uh, 8.2 armor. What's this guy right here? 4 armor, okay. We have one of the Turtle Saddles with 8 armor. What else is on this guy? All these candles. Um, we did get another bow, an apprentice bow right here. Um, if I didn't show you that one already, I think I may have. Another apprentice bow. More sleepy arrows. Oh, uh, man. It's just more candles. What we have in our inventory. A bunch of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. I am encumbered now. Um... So that was kind of a good little little raid or exploration, I guess. Because we didn't really raid anything. We just kind of found it and pillaged it is what we did, really. So this is an upgrade from 2 to 3.1. We'll do that. We did put copper leggings on. That we found. These we found. These were our originals somewhere. They might actually be on a pterodon. Because these have a 2.1 armor on them. Um, we put these gloves on because we were freezing. And they had a 2.2 armor rating over our regular copper gloves. Which only had a 2. And let's see. Did we get anything else that was better than what we're currently wearing? Legs 1.7. Legs 2.1. I don't think we did. Nope, two, 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 two. Okay. So, bunch of cool stuff. Bunch of supplies. Now, what I want to do is I can't jump. Let me walk in here then and start un unloading. Now that I'm level 37, oh, I gained three levels doing all that too. So, if you count that, I was 34 when I started. 37 now. So, um, gained three levels. But what I want to do is, uh, at 34, you can learn to make what's called a drill. And that, in my opinion, would probably be pretty fast. I would hope it would be pretty fast. Is that one better than this one? 128, 128.6, no. It's the same. But to make it, we had to get some supplies. And one of the things we needed, I believe, was copper. And so all that copper we just picked up is going to help us a lot. And let's see what we need exactly for it. And these are ingots, so I don't have to refine them. They're ready to go. So let's see. Craft. Drill. I believe it's under here. Here it is. So level 34. Yeah, 15 ingots, 10 wood. We've definitely got that now. So let's, do I need to make it in the workbench? That's the next question. Um, yeah, workbench. So we're going to go out here. I probably should have brought that fur. Anyway, because uh, I could have used some fur. Some fur armor to help protect me from all the elements while I was there. But that's all right. So, we have this guy here. It requires fuel. Yes, it does, unfortunately. Or at least it looks like it does. A mining drill driven by coal. It can collect minerals with high efficiency. So, I'm going to unload real fast. And we'll worry about collecting this stuff later. Let's just go unload our inventory. Into this guy. And then, uh... We'll gather what we need out of them later and once we do some inventory management but i do have resources here we do have some coal so let's put that on our hot bar okay it tells we have plus plus 98 so let's go ahead and do this there we are we're at 97. now i'm curious as to how this works let's go in our little mine that we started is right here I don't have yeah I do have a glow bug okay so let's just go ahead and we already know that this does single blocks and the copper pickaxe is quite quick couple taps 
definitely an upgrade over our stolen one. Now let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, how many would we just do? I don't know. Let's do the center of this then. So that did four at once, and that was really quick. Yep, four at once. So, is it always going to do... Okay, so wherever the head is, it does one down, and then it does the next two blocks on the side. That's going to be amazing, because what we were doing is we were digging two, and then... Uh, Going down, going down, going down, going down, going down, going down. We started finding all this stuff here. Now this, I need wands for, it looks like. Yeah, wood wand. So, also, let's look at the levels. It's at 80% fuel of that one coal. So that was two or three times. It didn't do too bad. Again, this is all stuff I need wands for, but let's say... We go right here. See, it went to the right that time. Alright, it's going to the right now. I wonder why that is. Um, ooh, we need this. This is something that we were coming down here for. That's iron. And this seems to be about the level that we found it so far, level 67. If you look in the upper left hand corner, underneath the temperature, there's a level. We're at level 67, and that's where we oh, we found a lot of iron so far. Oh yeah, this works. This is gonna make mining a lot faster. As you can see, iron, even with a pickaxe, as good as it is, it takes a few whacks. But the drill seems to cut through it pretty quick. It's about the same speed, but it does multiple blocks. So. Definitely gonna have to mine some of this with a drill and get that done. Um, yeah, I was digging down, digging down, and then I hit a pocket of iron right here. So then I started going lengthwise, which is basic Minecraft 101. So we're gonna come back down here with the drill and do that. And then the last thing I want to try to do this episode is uh, now that I'm beyond 30, is tame a triceratops. Because that would be amazing to tame one of those guys for berry collecting. And we had a bunch up here. Now, what do we have on our inventory? Nothing? Okay, let's go ahead and gather some berries. I have a bunch of measures, so let's see. That's a 21 right there. Let's put that away. Should have a bunch of measures right here. I don't know if Medjo's team better, more efficiently, um, like to do an arc. It's just what I've been using, um, and it works pretty well. So, you seem to be able to use most any berry in order to tame. That's a level 14. That was a 51 pterodon. What are you got? 34, better. Level 7. Okay, so the 34 may be the one that we're going to tame today. Uh, level 4, level 7, level 34. Yep. Alright, now. The Mejos. Okay, well, let's check these other berries and see if you could do any of the berries to tame it passively. Uh, yep, that one you can. Uh. uh yep, that one you can. I'm assuming you could do all of them. Yeah. And this one. So let's start off with the measures. And let's just go ahead and tame it with that. So we see about how much that did. That was like a little little nugget. Uh, not that wide. Let's try these next. See if there seems to be any noticeable difference in the taming effectiveness. of each berry. Now in Arc you would get bonus levels based off of what you fed the dino and um, measure would seem to be the best thing to get the most effectiveness because you got additional levels 
and you didn't lose as much by taming with Mejos, but there's no bonus levels here, and there's no taming effectiveness, so I don't know if there's a difference as far as what berry does what, or if uh, one berry tames better than the other. And that's what we're trying to figure out. Can you get hungry, buddy? Hey, level 14. How are you doing? I'd like for you to get hungry. Get hungry again for me. I'm curious what kind of health this thing has, because I have yet to been able to kill one of these without getting wrecked. I was a level 2 way over there. Not worth our time. Come on. So this is going to take a while. I'm hoping to do one more and then see if there's any substantial difference in the taming, amount of taming it, uh, it grants, and then I'll just tame the rest and come back when it's done, but... Come on, buddy. You know you're hungry. You know you want to eat. The way this is going, I may box it in too, so it stops moving. <laughs> so I don't have to keep following it around, I'll just keep running back and check it every so often. I'm still waiting. Well, this is definitely taking quite a while. Come on, Triceratops. There you go, get stuck. Get stuck right there. Do I have any blocks? I do have blocks. No, no, you want to get stuck. I don't know if it can walk over too high, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can box this thing in. Uh, doot, 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 doot. Oops. Uh, doot, doot. Doot, doot. Alright, give, give me green. There we go, green block. Boom. Hey, here we go. I looked about the same. So I don't I don't know if it's gonna be a thing to where you can uh where you can uh get a different berry to get a better taming effect out of it or not. Alright. We're gonna box this guy in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna box him in and then we're gonna just chill. And come check on him every so often. Although he does seem to eat faster with these. He saw that? It took forever with the Mejos, but the Tinto berries, he ate. He seemed to be eating a little bit quicker. Let's try that again real quick while I got y'all on cam. See if that's the case. Mejos, he took forever. Yeah, look. Tinto's, he seems to be eating a whole lot faster. Okay, so that's something new to learn. Alright, I'm going to tame this guy up, guys, and then I'll be back. Alright, guys. So, this is probably the last time I need to feed him, and then he'll be tamed. I said that, and I made me a liar. <laughs> so, I have to feed him one more time. Um, that bar is full in my eyes. But it did go back, and I went ahead and made a saddle at the base. Um, what else do we want? Let's just get some more health. There we go. Now he's tamed. And it's a male. So, let's call him... Call him Trey. <laughs> this is a Triceratops. Alright. Um, yes. And then we can do neutral. And we can put our saddle on. And he has 833 health. That's pretty nice. Again, I don't know what that would be like with, uh, was that my, no, it wasn't my Glowfaw, okay. I guess other animals, because I don't know health yet, but there seems to be a big difference in some of the animals and the amount of health that they have. Like, my Pterodons have 300, this guy has 800. I killed a Scorpion, it seemed to take forever, he probably had over a thousand. So, hey, that was one of my old characters. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. I killed a dodo. Ooh, I got seeds. 
Alright, so this is what we need for seeds. Nice. Then we get a lot of berries from him. Die, Triceratops. I shouldn't have a problem killing this guy. He's a level 4. And I'm a level 30 something. Get wrecked! Well, it looks like he's bleeding. Yeah, you see the little particles? Uh, that's usually their blood animation that I've, I tend to notice from killing things. Alright, I'm getting citronella seeds, thatch. There we go. What do we get when we harvest these guys? Let's grab our axe out. Leather, bone. Nice, we get bones. Give me all the bones. Alright, that's one of the things we don't have much of. Alright, so let's see what they harvest. Thatch from that. Get out the way, guys. I'm trying not to kill all you guys. Seeds, berries, seeds, all the seeds. Now we can start a garden. Wheat seed? Ooh, okay. Wheat seeds. More seeds. What's his weight at? Weight is at 550. Nice. Trees. He, he actually... He actually harvests trees, so he'll get wood. My uh, copper axe is uh, giving me the uh, saplings from these trees whenever I, I knock them down. I don't want to... I was trying to just take out that tree. Why aren't you going down, tree? There we go. But... Why did... He didn't get much experience either from that battle. That's interesting. What about a right click? No right click, just a left click. No C, no X. Okay. Blowing stuff up. <laughs> Getting tons of seeds. Alright, I'm going to clean this stuff up here. And uh, that's probably just a furry rabbit ear. Yeah, it is. I'm going to clean this stuff up here and I'm going to start harvesting things and get in a bunch of seeds so that I can make a garden. So we have savroot, we have long grass, we have citronelle, rock carrot, we have mejos, the regular berries, of course all those, and then I saw wheat seed. Eat this to gain a tiny amount of nourishment or plant it to get your own wheat. It can be planted in soil blocks be sure to water it or it'll go rotten. Okay. And these are normal trees. So apparently you can plant, plant saplings for these seeds to grow trees again. And it will quickly go or um, can be harvested for wood after maturing. Alright. The things seem to be respawning here pretty quickly for me. I don't know if I really need to plant tree seeds but anyway that's gonna do it for today's episode guys hopefully you enjoyed what you saw if you did don't forget to smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already feel free to share the video as you see fit and as always we'll see you in the next one peace he's so cute